In this video we're going to build an applet about circles. Let's first of all start by identifying a, a point that we're going to have as the center of our circle. I don't care where it is. And let's worry about uh, building a circle. We'll have that as its center and we'll have it go out to here. We can adjust the size of those things as we go along in this discussion. I'd like to have one more point that's actually going to be on that circle somewhere and that particular point I'm going to occasionally want to move around the circle somewhere but it's attached to the circle so it'll just move it around. I'm interested in the radius from that point to the center so that's going to be an important one to me. I'd like to see that right triangle that we've seen before. Remember we wanted to have a, a horizontal line here that that goes through A. That horizontal line will have all the Y values that are the same thing as whatever the Y value is for point A. So there we've got that horizontal line. I'd like to have that vertical line that goes through C. That will be all the values that have an X value equal to the X value of whatever point C has. Okay. And I'm interested in oops. I, I'm interested in the intersection of this line and this line. So I'm interested in that point D. And we're very interested in segments that go from here to here and from here to here. Now let me go back and just kind of hide these construction lines that we had. Okay, so now we've got that little triangle there. And notice no matter where I put C, that triangle always ends up being a right triangle. <coughs> notice that the diameter of that triangle. The, the hypotenuse of the triangle is always the radius of the circle, no matter where it happens to go. Okay, that's pretty cool. If I want to change these points at all, we can adjust them wherever we want, move this point around wherever we want it to be, and we could actually have it calculate some lengths and distances here, but you know that this length is always going to be uh, whatever the radius of the circle is, and that this length squared plus this length squared is going to be equal to this length squared. That's where we get the formula for a circle. We'll discuss that in some paperwork here in a little bit, but we'll save this applet so that you can play with it. Uh, outside of GeoGebra, outside of this video.